Hello, we continue our video serial for the WebSocket and in the previous video we talked briefly about the possibility in Postman to check the uh, server to ensure that the WebSocket connection is working. A very simple and short video. In this video we will uh, implement the connection of the client on the ESP32 uh, via WebSocket to the server of Postman that we have checked in the previous video. Um, okay. In order to do so, we will have our code, but first, uh, how we started to deal with this problem. Uh, of course, we're always starting in, in the expressive side, and on the expressive side, they have ASP WebSocket client uh, explanation, which is relatively brief and uh, have on mostly the data for different uh, functions. As well, they have a pretty good example which is right here protocols websocket this is example for the websocket uh, uh, client if we look here uh, it's uh, relatively simple but still for my opinion difficult to understand example and like always in uh, on our site we simplify it as much as possible in order to be to, to make it more understandable so in our get heap repository websocket esp idf inside the uh, seams iot devices we have the following code we have the we have the following files one of which is uh, my data where you should put your wi-fi and wi-fi password credentials and the other one is the project itself here inside seems rt devices websockets uh, uh, proj.c uh, proj2.c uh, we copied this file inside our editor and here you have it let's go over briefly what we have here the includes with ESP WebSocket client header, we define the appropriate tag. Here we use two functions which we explained in our previous videos regarding the Wi Fi connection establishment. It is Wi Fi handler and Wi Fi connection. Those, uh, those uh, functions using my data with a proper credentials. The WebSocket connection have two functions, a WebSocket event handler and a WebSocket uh, definition function, where the main uh, have only three lines, the establishment of Wi-Fi connection, we give enough time for Wi-Fi connection to take place, and then we, wrap, we run the WebSocket application. And Inside the web WebSocket application, we uh, define the connection and please note that this is the link that was checked via Postman in the previous video and we, we were sure that this link is working. We're sending data to this server via WebSocket connection and this server is echoing back the data. Uh, we refer the WebSocket connection to the WebSocket handler, to this one, WebSocket handler. And then uh, we start the connection and start sending hello, one, two, three, four, and so on. And we expect to receive back uh, the same data. Let's uh, run it. Meanwhile, we will go uh, over the handler. In the handler, you have uh, we have two 
uh, situation because we deleted the other situation in sake of simplicity we write when the socket is connected and then each time we write the data that were received remember we are sending a hello one two three and so on so let's see how it works okay now Wi-Fi is connected we got the IP web socket event connected we send hello zero and he received hello zero and after 10 instances web socket is stopped uh, let's uh, connect it to the code web socket connected event we have here we are sending we are sending the hello one two three and so on and we received received here in websocket event data we received the data exactly the same data which we have sent this string with appropriate number after the completion of 10 uh, loops the websocket connection is terminated and we print the uh, websocket is stopped you have it here that's it thank you